Maven is the most popular build tool in Java. Most of the software companies whose employees are more than 10,000 use Maven. It's extremely popular amongst all the developers who wants to use build tool. Hello everyone, this is Babita from Edureka and in today's session we will be understanding how we can install this most popular build tool Maven in our Windows 10. So without further ado, let's quickly look at the agenda for today where we will be first installing Java JDK and then installing Maven. We'll finally set up environment for both JDK and Maven in order to start our project. With that said, make sure you're subscribed to Edureka YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to never miss an update. Also, if you are interested in DevOps certification, do check out the link given in the description box below. Now let's get started. So in order to install Maven, we need to install Java JDK. So let's quickly go through the Java definition or what exactly is JDK. JDK or Java Development Kit is a development environment for building applications or even applets. And basically these components are being used in our Maven project creations. So why exactly do we need JDK in Maven though? Basically during building a project, Maven will use JDK to perform various steps. Now they could be like Java sources or to generate Java document or even to run unit tests. Now here in JDK, there is a set of tools which actually Maven uses. So in order for Maven to access these tools, the system needs to have JDK installed. That understood, let's quickly look at the steps to have JDK in our system. First and foremost, we need to download and install JDK, obviously, and then uh, have a bin path for it and also set up a Java home. We'll look into it. Before that, we need to understand where we can download JDK from. This is the Oracle official website where you can download JDK from. You can find this link given in the description box below as well. And also on the screen here, you can probably enter the link on your systems. Having that JDK part understood, let's quickly run through Maven and then we'll switch into installation part as well. So in installing Maven, we need to understand Maven, which is basically a build automation tool for Java projects. And primarily it was built for Java projects, but now even C Sharp, Ruby and other languages also use Maven as a build automation tool. Again, in installing Maven, there are three steps. First thing is to download Maven and then set up bin path and also have Maven home set up. So in order to download or install Maven, we need to visit Apache Maven's official website. Again, you can find this link given in the description box below. Now let's quickly go ahead and install both Java and Maven and set up the environment. So here I'm going to say Java and check the version. So if I say this, of course, there's no Java JDK installed in the system and hence it's saying that Java is not recognized. So let's quickly get started in understanding how we can install Java JDK in our system. So this is the Oracle website that I mentioned in our slide presentation earlier. Again, you can find this link in the description or just go to Google and type Java installation. That will also lead you to this particular website. So here during the time I'm making this video, the latest version happens to be 17. Java 17 happens to be the latest version. Here again, depending on your operating system, there's uh, Linux, there's Mac, there's also Windows. Now in Windows, you need to consider installing the exe version. There's of course zip file, msi file, and we need to install the exe version. So let's quickly go ahead and install that. Clicking on that will actually help you download the documentation. So as you can see here, the JDK version is being installing. It takes a couple of uh, seconds to install completely. So now as you can see, the JDK version is being uh, downloaded. Now I'm just going to double click on this and uh, let's see what pops up. So now it's asking if I want to make any changes to my device, I'm going to say yes. It'll take a couple of minutes and uh, it'll give me all the permission dialog boxes. Now, as you can see here, the installation is uh, in progress. I am going to say it's asking if my destination folder should be program files, then I'm going to say next. Yes, let's not change that. Let's keep that as it is. Let's give it a couple of minutes for it to finish the uh, installation part. Now it's installed, so let's quickly go ahead and get through our further steps. Of course, it's going to take us to the documentation, which we currently do not need. Let's quickly go ahead and set it up. So in order to set up, we need to open the folder that it 
was just installed in now it says java so i'm going to go to program files in my c and in java here we have a jdk folder now the version that we installed is a 17.0.2 of course um, by the time you watch the video your versions might even change so let's quickly go ahead here the important folder is bin folder like we discussed earlier we need to set up our bin folder and our environment so in bin folder we have number of important java files existing which we need for our further processes now since this is the important folder what we're going to do is we're going to set up the environment variables uh, and in order to do that we're going to copy the bin folder path so once we copy this we're going to go to our uh, search button here and we're going to search for environment variables now here when you search you can get edit system environment variables and we are going to go here into our environment variables and then here in our system variables we are going to edit so now in order to to edit the path we need to select path and here I'm gonna say edit and we copied our uh, bin folder so what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste our uh, folder path here and just gonna say okay and uh, now our path has been set and uh, it's uh, ready to operate but then we need to use java uh, development uh, kit for our maven which is our java development tool so now in order to create projects or to use uh, related tools we need to have java home also set up so in order to do that we need to create a home path as well let's quickly go ahead and do that so to do that we need to again uh, say a new path uh, where you're going to say a variable name and as i mentioned earlier our variable name is going to be java home and value of the variable is going to be our path but the difference here is the path is not going to be the bin folder rather until the folder where you can find all the java tools so the folder is going to be just until the version of your jdk so i'm going to copy this path and go back to our uh, value variable value and here i'm going to paste it i'm going to say okay and then after that okay okay with the environment variables also okay with this now uh, we have set and our path is also set our environment variable is set so let's quickly go ahead and check if java jdk is uh, installed in our system i'm just going to say java and check for the version and hit enter as you can see our version is 17.0.2 so which means our java jdk is set up in our system the next step is to install maven Let's uh, go ahead and see that as well. Now to install Maven, we have come to our official website where we can download our Maven. Again, to find the link for this website, you can go down to the description below or even you can type uh, Maven download on the web and it'll take you to the welcome page. Basically, you can just uh, come down to download section and you can see this page here. The next thing is to see which file to download now in order to install maven we need to download the zip file over here so we are there are two zip files which is the source file and the binary file binary file being the bin file uh, let's go ahead and download this again the version here is 3.8.4 at the time of making this video now what we're going to do is we're going to extract this zip file in the folder that it is downloaded in so i'm just going to say extract to a specific folder so uh, here what we're going to do is uh, let's go ahead and directly go to our uh, c drive and here in our program files let's go ahead and extract over here itself that way we don't have to copy paste to our c drive now of course it's going to ask if you want to make any changes to your system and then all our files are extracted so let's quickly go ahead into our uh, c file and see if the apache maven is being set up over there now here in my c folder in my program files folder i have apache maven with the version as you can see here there is a bin folder which is again important folder here with respect to bin folder itself we are going to create our operations yet again here i'm going to copy the link of the path for our bin folder now same again we're going to go to our environment variables we're going to set up so i have this in recent so i'm just going to go to my environment variables 
Now, yet again, here uh, we're going to search for our path and uh, we're going to say edit our path. And here again, we're going to paste our link that we copied that is bin. I'm going to say OK. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create our user variables for our Maven. So what we're going to do is just like we created our uh, Java home variable. We're going to create our Maven. We're going to say new and our variable name is going to be Maven home and variable value yet again is going to be until we reach here. So that's going to be our Maven folder going back again. We have variable value to be set here. Okay, going to say okay. Okay, here again. Now let's go ahead and check our Maven version in our system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say M V N and check for the version. Here M V N is a notation used uh, for Maven. So uh, make sure you remember that. And I'm going to hit enter. Let's see if Maven is installed. As you can see, Apache Maven of version 3.8.4 has been installed and set up in our system. Now that's it for today. We have come to the end of today's session where we have understood how to install both JDK and Maven in our Windows 10. I hope this session was clear. If you have any doubts relating to today's session, you can put down in the comment section below and we will answer to them. Until we meet again next time, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!